Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Animated Cybertron Node Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. Check this guy out. Now, this is Optimus Prime in the mode that he had when we saw him in the very first episode of Transformers Animated, before they got to Earth and before they took on Earth modes. I really love this little uh, mode that he's got here. It's uh, kind of a futuristic space truck kind of thing, and uh, it, it reminds me personally, it kind of harkens back to the original Cup when we first saw him in the Transformers movie, just kind of that uh, you know futuristic looking pickup truck that nobody really knew what it was. Uh, he's got wheels in the front and then in the back he had tracks. Now here on the toy he's got fake tracks. These are just molded in and he's got these little rollers mounted back here. But you know he's got the tracks are molded in there and uh, the little pipes on the side here. I, I think this is a really cool looking little uh, futuristic space space truck right here. I really enjoy this mode. Um, this guy here was released in 2008 as a deluxe class and originally retailed for $9.99. Here in truck mode he's approximately five and a quarter inches long by three uh, tall right here at the top. Um, I, I love the details on him as I was saying he's got the uh, he's got the molded in tracks he's got the big uh, just kind of a windshield and rooftop kind of thing going all in one piece there. I really like the way that looks. I just really enjoy the design on this thing. Um, if uh, if there was anything that I was going to change on this thing, uh, uh, I really like this. There's not a whole lot I would change. Maybe the fact that the back here, these are going to become the legs, but here in truck mode, they don't clip together. Uh, what you see here as the uh, as the hinge or the fifth wheel or the peg, if this guy would have ever had a trailer, this is where it would have clipped on. This is actually going to become the weapon for robot mode, and it's just kind of sitting there in the middle. It's wedged in between the two pieces. These are just clipped in here, but not to each other. They clip right here on the sides, but not to each other. So um, I would have probably maybe had that connect a little more secure, but, I mean, they stay in place okay. Um, one of the features about this vehicle that I really, really love, and, well, this, this toy in general, is that it's got the, the weapons are integrated into both the vehicle where, as you can see, you can't see any weapons in this vehicle mode right here. And the, the weapons are integrated in such a way that when you transform this into the robot mode, his weapons are already going to be in his hands. And I don't know that I've ever seen that before or since on any other figure, really. Um, I might be wrong. If I am, please leave me a comment and let me know. But I don't know. I can't think of any other Transformer that when you transform him into his robot mode, he's already got his weapons deployed in his hands ready for combat. And that's what this guy does. So let's go ahead and get into the transformation and show you the, how that works. Now, the back of the truck here, these are going to be the legs. And a couple of things are probably going to happen here all at the same time. Uh, like I said, the legs are clipped on here on the sides, and we're going to pull these off to the back. And uh, these are going to be the shins, and you're going to see the thighs are going to come out of there. And as you can see here, this is the, 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 the torso, the waist piece, and the abdomen piece. This is on a slider right here that needs to slide down for robot mode. And more often than not, when you take one of these, I'm going to try and get this done one at a time, but more often than not, when you try to pull the legs out, you end up just popping, the, you know, pulling the whole thing, and the whole thing stretches out. So uh, it might happen, it might not. I'm going to try and pop these out of the way, and you see, I got that leg stretched out, and you can see how that started to slide already. So that's what I was talking about right there, but I'm just going to hold that in place like that and slide this other leg out. Once you get the leg all the way out here, hold the uh, thigh in place and just rotate the bottom of the leg around. Same thing on this side. And then these guys here, these are going to be the front of the feet. You just pop those guys right out. Okay. Um, try and keep the, uh, the uh, as you can see, that's going to be an axe. What was the uh, peg for the trailer. Just go ahead and pop that. No, not that. Always on camera, right? Uh, as you can see, it's wedged right here on the, on the back side of the waist piece. So you can go ahead and just pop that off and just let it hang right there. Go ahead and um, these side panels where the legs were uh, plugged into, you can just pop these off to the side and let them hang there for now. And then we're going to take this waist piece and slide it back all the way. Okay? And then you can you can rotate that down like that if it's if it's keeps it out of the way better for you. You can probably go ahead and do that now as well. And as you can see, the back of the track here, you can see that these are the uh, the fists. That's what's going to become the arms. And as you can see, 
this uh, axe, the axe handle goes in and folds up and around and comes through and it's actually being held in both fists, like in, in something like that. So that's really cool. So when these come out, the you know, he's going to be holding his axe two-handed. That's, that's really, really cool. The uh, top of the truck here, this is going to become a shield. So you can go ahead and just pop this off and um, you can pop it off as you just saw. But uh, typically, this is pegged in right here on the back of the truck. You see this gray piece here. That's usually where it's pegged into. So you can uh, pop the, uh, the roof off and just kind of turn it and move it off to the side like that. And you can leave that plugged in just as well as you can leave the, uh, the axe plugged in. Go ahead and take the arms, both of these arms, and just extend them out like, like so. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, straighten out this axe. It's on a double hinge there and there. I'm going to go ahead and straighten that out. But what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take it off of this hand. I'm only going to leave him wielding it in his right arm. So I'm going to pull this out of his left arm. And you're going to see right here there's a slider. Let me try and get that out and hopefully show you. Shows better on camera. Here we go. And you can see the fist there is on a slider. So for the vehicle mode, in order for him to hold it in both fists, that fist needs to be slid down. But for robot mode, you're going to go ahead and slide that up so that both fists are going to be even just like that. Okay? So now we're going to take the, uh, the front of the truck here, the grill and the windshield. We're going to pull this down, and then we're going to take the windshield and fold it up on the grill. And you're going to see inside there, there's a peg. That peg is going to, this whole thing is going to, swivel down and that peg is going to slide into this slot right here on this bottom grill. So go ahead and finish folding all that up all the way. Bring that down and um, just angle the uh, I'm trying to show that in a way that shows on camera. Angle the um, this, uh, what would you call this, the front grill. It's, it's the fake front grill I guess but angle that up so that you can slide that peg right in there. You can just push that together. You can see the head just got revealed there. And then these panels here are the, right here where the arms are at, these shoulders, these uh, wheel wells, these are going to rotate down. I really love the way that does that. It rotates down and it covers up the wheels, but then it has kind of the shoulder wheel effect. I really like that. The panel in the back where the uh, legs were plugged in, you can fold that down all the way to cover up the back of the wheel. Do the same thing on this side. Fold that down. Fold that panel. Cover up the wheel. And then you want these yellow pieces on the shoulders pointing back. So go ahead and rotate that and bring the arm down. Same thing on this side. Rotate that and bring the arm down. And at this point, you're just straightening him out. And there is Cybertron mode, Optimus Prime from Transformers Animated in his robot mode. And as you can see, his weapons are in his hand. He's got his hacks right here on his right hand and over here on his left hand he's got a shield mounted right there so he's ready to go and that's what I was talking about I think that that is the first time I've ever seen that I can think of a transformer that when he transforms from vehicle to robot his weapons are in his hand all battle ready he is ready to go that is so so cool right there now for the purposes of the rest of the video i'm going to go ahead and take these off so i'm going to go ahead and take that off and we're going to take a better look at that in a minute i'm going to take the shield off and as you can see that's just the roof of the truck it's a shield so set that aside and take a look at that in a minute uh the little peg here where the where the roof was mounted on you can go ahead and just slide that in and then straighten out that uh the tailpipe the tailpipe or smokestack uh whatever you want to call it it's a cybertronian truck I don't think there's a wrong <laughs> a wrong way to call that. So here's Optimus in robot mode, and how cool does he look? I, it's you know one of the things that I really loved about Transformers Animated and the toys from Animated was that they did a really really good job of 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 making these toys look like a, just a good representation of the animated models. They weren't all perfect. Obviously, it's it's impossible to perfectly translate a, a 2D animation into a 3D toy. But, man, if they did a good job of most of them. They really did. These animated toys, most of them are just real, loyal representations of their animated models. And Optimus here is a good example of that. Here in robot mode, he's approximately six and a quarter inches tall up here at the head. Um, articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint, so you know, you can go up and down, you can go all the way around. 
Uh, unfortunately, no mouth plate. I mean, that is a dead-on representation of his head and what he looked like like in the animation in the animated show. Um, and one of the things about animated was that Optimus didn't usually have a mouth plate. Uh, usually, this is the way you saw him. Now, some of the other animated toys they do have a mouth plate. I absolutely love that. Um, I prefer mouth plates, but I'm not going to complain since this is what he actually looked like most of the time on the show. Shoulders are ball jointed, so you can go all over the place with these guys. As you can see here, the elbows have a hinge on the top, and they also got a ball joint on the bottom here. So, also, the elbows can go all over the place. The uh, fists don't really do anything. Uh, you know, this guy you saw had the little slide for transformation, but other than that, the fists are going to stay in place. Um, he's got a waist joint, so he can actually turn at the waist. The hips, again, ball jointed, so you can go all over the place with these guys. Uh, the knees are on a on a hinge, so you could get 90 degrees at the at the knee like so. And then you got a little bit of a tilt on the toe. Again, that's due to transformation. But here's Optimus, ready to go. And and this guy is super super poseable, really dynamic looking, as you can see right there. I mean, that guy. It's awesome. I really love the way this prime looks, and uh, so let's let's get back to the um, to the weapons here. And as we saw before, he's got this little axe that was mounted. You know, it was it was mounted on his right arm there. It was it was part of the uh, truck mode. He had the little peg here, but you can actually combine these, and they got a little bit of a power up mode on the show. Optimus's uh, axe. He could actually like extend it. He could extend the handle, and the the actual blade would open up, and and you know it, it kind of had a little power up feature, and you can sort of kind of mimic that with this guy. You can take the blade here and just pop this guy open. So now you've got a, a double sided axe like that right there. Uh, go ahead and take that peg and fold it down, and you can you can use this axe like this just as much. So, you know, you can have the, the, the single-sided axe, or you can have the double-sided axe. Or, if you want to power it up even more, you can take what the what was the shield or the roof of the truck here or whatever. And you can see he's got two hinges right here in the back. So you can take this and extend it all the way out. To extend that all the way out. And then you're going to take the, uh, the axe right here in the open position. You're going to see that there's a groove on the top of the axe head there. And there's a little edge right here on the inside of the of the shields so you can take this guy just pop that guy right in there and slide it up and that gray piece is gonna slide into that red piece right there just like that and now you've got um, this is supposed to be like the extended powered up axe um, use your imagination I mean it's not it's not the best axe but it's also not terrible I'm not gonna hate on it uh, use your imagination and there you go there's Optimus with his super axe, and you know one of the things I love about these these uh, the deluxe class figures on the on for the two animated deluxe class primes is that right there the possibility is such that you can take them and I'm going to adjust the camera here you can take these guys and you can actually do an over the shoulder uh, axe wield on both of them, and when we get to the other deluxe. Animator Prime. I'll show you how that guy does it as well. I love that about these guys. These guys just have so much. You, you can emote them so much. I really love these guys. They're so much fun to just pose and and they look so much like the animated model. They are really really cool figure. A lot of fun. Um, if there was anything that was going to change about this guy, um, I really don't know how they would have done this. To be honest with you, I don't. I think the, the decision was made, and I think it's there's really no other way about it, but minor gripe. The uh, tailpipes, they're mounted on the, on the forearms here, and that's not bad. That actually looks pretty cool. However, on the animation model on the show, these in robot mode, these tail, these, yeah, uh, these smoke pipes, tailpipes, smoke, whatever, smokestacks, the uh, in the animation model when he was in robot mode, these actually ended up right here on the sides of the waist, and they kind of look like these two side pouches that he had or whatever. So, um, you know, that kind of breaks up the the uh, you know looking like the animated model. That kind of breaks it up a little bit. It's a minor minor gripe. They actually look pretty good mounted on the on the forearms as well. But if you want to be a stickler, if you have to find just one thing to change, well, there you go. I would have found a way to have these mounted on here. I don't 
think that there's physically any way that could have happened, to be honest. If you look at the way that ends up in truck mode, I don't think that there's a way they could have done that, but there you go. There's, there's a guy. You wanted a gripe? I got you a gripe. There you go. Uh, man, check this guy out. Does, does this guy look cool or what? I, I think I'm just, as a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to leave him like that. This guy's going back on my shelf looking just like that. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's delicious. That looks great. And he's got his super axe uh, all powered up and ready to go, and he's ready to chop off your face. I love it. I think that about covers Transformers Animated Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime. Please leave me a comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.